as I mentioned, these are editorial awards. I have nothing to do with it. I trust me on this one. Sarah and her team vet all the entries and select the best honoree. We had quite a few entries this year, and the, really the, the decision-making process is very, very hard. Uh, there's so many talented people in the business, that, and so well, so many deserving people in this business. Um, so it's always a difficult decision, not easy. And all the nominees are very talented people in their own right, and we thank you for your submissions. Uh, keep them coming, we'll get you next year. Without further ado, I do want to get on to the main presentation tonight. It's our Trailblazer Awards. It's our, as I mentioned before, it's our seventh annual. And um, we started out very humbly in a basement of a certain restaurant that I can't remember the name of anymore. Many years ago now, um, you know, with just the, the CEO of the year and his board. It was a very nice dinner, and uh, that was Darren Williams of Westcom out in uh, California. But today we're here to um, recognize our 2012 Trailblazer Award um, it, It's a dream come true for a marketer, and I guess I'll, I'll say, um, my seven-year-old daughter asked me the other day, what do you think I should do when I grow up? Should I be a movie star or work at a credit union? <laughs> so that's how you know you've got an amazing career. I told her to go for the credit union. And so, as honored as I am to have my name associated with this uh, prestigious award, I really feel I need to accept it on behalf of the, the entire five of the Virginia Federal Credit Union family. Thank you. In humble beginnings in a basement and um, because of the demand and the need for these services across the state we've grown in 10 years to uh, over 50,000 members and um, with 10 branches across the state so um, and it's been wonderful to see the growth of our members starting out just having us needing a safe place to save their money and showing people how to fill out a ticket and all these basics and then moving them along the continuum seeing so many of our members now owning homes and uh, really setting down roots and uh, having a better opportunity for their children. I'm really excited that the Afghan credit union movement is honored in this way being as it is the youngest of the world's credit union systems. Naming the Trailblazer Award for Outstanding Political Action in 2011 uh, in the name of the CEO of the National Association of Afghanistan, the Islamic Investment and Finance Cooperatives Group, itself is a sign of Afghanistan being part of the international family of credit unions. We're over a $500 million credit union, yet we did not have a real estate department. Now we have one of the most successful real estate departments in the Tri-Cities, and I thank countrywide for that. When they got out of the business, we hired a whole group of people from there. I think the naysayers, the naysayers, the people who told me it could never be done, and I especially want to thank NCUA, <laughs> because they gave me greater resolve and they gave me greater courage to know that whenever you're doing the right thing, it's always right. And there's never a wrong time to do something that's right. And as a credit union and in, in the industry, we are so blessed that we're part of a cooperative spirit and a cooperative industry where we should be able to work, be able to work together and share what we're doing and not work against each other. And I'll just leave you with one of my favorite quotes. I, I have a lot of favorite quotes, and this one is from Margaret Mead, who said, never doubt that a small group of committed people can change the world because it's the, only, it's the only group that ever has. And I'd say, stay strong and be part of that small group. Thank you very much.